What's up everyone, it's Scotty with MoneyVest. So in this video, I wanted to talk about Tesla stock, ticker symbol TSLA with the brand new Cybertruck unveiling. Three new models, prices obviously a little bit higher than what the expectations were. Wanted to go over the technicals and of course the brand new vehicle under Tesla's uh, product line as well. So hope you guys enjoy this video and find it helpful. Make sure that you drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate that and link to our Discord and Patreon is going to be down below. It's the first week of the month, the best time to join and you get access to members only private videos, Excel spreadsheets, Discord channels and trade alerts, as well as early access to our moneyvest.com platform and software that we are going to be launching in February of 2024. So link's going to be down below. And again, we'll love to have you on board. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. So this right here, Tesla begins the Cybertruck delivery. We had the Tesla Cybertruck delivery event on November 29th, so just a few days ago, and Elon Musk presented the Cybertruck. And he also mentioned that the faster, uh, in other words, it is faster than a sports car. And depending on the model, which is called the uh, Tesla Cyber Beast, uh, it can accelerate from zero to 60 uh, in under 2.6 seconds right so in a tri motor variant and the cybertruck has reopened its pool for pre-orders and fans can reserve their life a real life model for 250 dollars of course that's the deposit that tesla collects again these right here are of course some of the pictures the you know very very in, uh, uh, sort of like a classic look of cybertruck that's always been um fantasized by of course a lot of tesla enthusiasts and alongside the start of tesla cybertruck deliveries the company has also unveiled the full specs of the models as the base cybertrucks feature a dubbed ultra hard stainless steel uh, exoskeleton and shatter resistant armor glass. So in other words, bulletproof armor glass. Um, in fact, Tesla published a test video featuring a man shooting the Cybertruck with a 0.45 caliber and the bullets just dent the car without penetrating it. Uh, Tesla claims that the Cybertruck can withstand fewer dents, less damage, long-term non-corrosion and easy repairs given the materials employed as well. And of course, given the the prices for a lot of the raw materials that have gone up in recent months, and of course, we've been dealt with so much inflation, it's no surprise that the pricing is a little bit higher than what many were expecting. And the rear wheel drive, currently priced at $49,890 US dollars, can give the drivers an estimated 250 miles of range and 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds. And the all while all wheel drive, currently priced at $68,890, so just a little bit under $69,000, um, maybe faster as it can give it can accelerate from uh, 0 to 60 in 4.1 seconds. And the expected uh, range is going to be 340 miles with 112 miles per hour top speed. 600 horsepower and 11,000 pounds of towing capacity as well. So these are some of the pictures that I wanted to go over. And of course, there's three different models. The highest model, of course, accelerating uh, zero, to 50, zero to 60 in under three seconds um, as well. So of course, there's going to be a lot of uh, excitement, a lot of potential deliveries and orders on this vehicle. The pricing is obviously a little bit higher than what many people were expecting because, of course, uh, the 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 consensus moving forward for Tesla is to bring in to market an electric vehicle which is more cost efficient, more affordable for many folks uh, around the world, and to bring out a twenty twenty five thousand dollar vehicle. But Tesla Cybertruck obviously at the higher end of that spectrum in pricing wise, and even the average average pricing on their existing model S Y X, all these different ones has now come down to fifty fifty five thousand dollars in some models, even sub fifty thousand dollars. So this definitely is going to be on the higher end of the pricing spectrum for all products and vehicles that Tesla offers. Now this right here is going to be the stock price. It is dropping a little bit over two percent uh, this week. In fact, we have um, sold off. I think for Tesla we are basically up. 2%, but given how much it's down pre-market, so it's been a very, very flat week for Tesla. So it's pretty much going to be about no change. And in the month of November, though, Tesla had a very strong rally. Uh, it was up a little bit over 19.5%. So you can see that movement back higher green for Tesla. But of course, this past week, we have been basically flat for, for the company. Now, valuation has obviously been a little bit of an issue. Now, full disclosure, Tesla is my biggest position, a little bit over 20% allocation into Tesla. And, you know, I'm super happy with that position. But of course, I don't want to add more considering, uh, you know, where the prices are, where the valuation is. And I've mentioned this time and time again. I want Tesla to be successful. I believe in the long-term 
thesis for Tesla with respect to electric vehicles and the transition towards renewable energy and electric vehicles. But at the same time, I cannot ignore the valuation aspect. I cannot ignore where the intrinsic value is. So for me, 130s, 140s is the true intrinsic value for Tesla, given that I purely look at this company from an electric vehicle standpoint. But of course, eventually, if it does uh, you know, make itself so big that it's also a tech company with respect to AI, artificial intelligence, autonomous driving. Uh, we've got, you know, Tesla solar panels and, and charging stations and uh, robotics. And of course, the Optimus, there's just so much potential uh, with Tesla to, to expand and grow its revenue. But until we get there, for me, as we have already discussed, it is going to be an EV company. Now, this right here is going to be the overall technical analysis on Tesla. As you'll notice that we are continuing to trade inside this downtrending channel. I am actually planning on selling some calls. Uh, maybe I should have done that, you know, on Wednesday, uh, maybe a couple days ago when Tesla was, you know, trading up to as much as 252. Because at that price point, you know, the call, call premiums would have been very, very high. And of course, the fact that we have sold out from those levels a little bit over five, six, seven percent, those calls would have been nicely up already. But you know, better late than never. Uh, so if you, if you do see a little bit of a pullback for Tesla, and again, next support really is going to be inside this green rectangle um, in the low 200s, uh, I will be looking to, again, sell some calls and take advantage of that volatility and of course, hedge for that potential downside. Now, even though there is this downtrending channel, so this right here is the lower high and the lower low, there is going to be a massive amount of resistance. So this right here is going to be that resistance to watch for Tesla. So we've got a lot of resistance and supply sitting right over here, as we have already discussed in our previous videos. Uh, anything between 275, 280 to as much as $300 is going to be a very, very important area of supply and resistance for Tesla stock because we haven't really traded above $300 since, um, it's been a long time, since over August of 22. So it's been well over a year. So it's been, you know, well over 16 to 18 months for Tesla uh, that it's traded above $300. So there's clearly a lot of resistance and supply at those levels. And the last time you were trading at those levels was back in July of this year. So very, very strong air resistance, still keep trading within the context of this downtrend. Uh, very, very strong support right here in the low 200s for Tesla would not surprise me one bit if you do retest these levels, considering we're still in the context of these lower highs and lower lows. But of course, if we do break down further, $151 is going to be that next area of support in case we see some more uh, aggressive downside. And at that point, I will be looking at selling some puts for Tesla down in the 120s, 130 strikes, uh, we'll be looking to pick up more shares. So it's really that simple. It's not that complicated. Long-term thesis holds for me as an electric vehicle company to expand its business, to grow and to make more deliveries. This year, close to 1.8 million uh, deliveries. Next year, hopefully over 2.2, 2.3 million, preferably over 2.5 given the condition, the situation with interest rates and the demand. Um, but 150, 150, 125, 130, selling puts, buying more shares, that's gonna be closer to my intrinsic value, closer to 280, $300 and plus. We'll be looking at selling calls or maybe even trimming uh, some position because then I would be very over allocated uh, in this stock as well. So that's where we are. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below with Tesla stock down a little bit over 2.4% uh, pre-market right now, still very much in the context of this downtrend. Unfortunately, we are uh, pulling right back down. November was a very strong month. December, we'll find out how this month ends up being for Tesla and of course, for the entire market. Seasonality wise, it's supposed to be green. Probability is very high, but, uh, but you just never know. Given how high the yields are, I think it's going to be a very interesting month for the markets. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful. Make sure that you drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're just joining us for the first time. Again, links to our Discord and Patreon is going to be down below if you're interested in joining, getting access to all the members-only private videos. Uh, it's the first week of the month. Best time to join Excel spreadsheets, intrinsic values, and trade alerts, trade ideas. Everything's going to be included. Link's going to be down below. As always, happy investing. I'll see you all in the next video.